and welcome to this Lance Weaver tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to move a SQL Compact database to SQL Server. If you choose the easy option in our installer, your database is installed under Microsoft's free SQL Compact database server. SQL Compact has a built-in database size limit of 4 GB, which should allow you to scan several hundred assets. If your network reaches over a thousand assets, however, it might be better to move to SQL Server for database size as well as performance reasons. Luckily, you can easily move all of your data, reports, and settings if required. There's a free edition of SQL Server called SQL Express. Old versions are limited to 4 gigs, but new releases allow for databases of up to 10 gigs. You can, of course, move to a non-Express edition of SQL Server as well, which is not limited in size. To move from Compact to SQL Server, first of all, download our latest installer from the download section of landsweeper.com. If your installation is not up to date, use the installer to perform an update. There's a knowledge base article about this on our website, but basically it's just a matter of running the installer and choosing Upgrade. If the upgrade option is grayed out, your installation is already up to date and you can close the installer. Keep in mind that the migration process won't work if your compact database is on a different LandSweeper version than the SQL Server database you'll be creating later on. So it's very, very important that you make sure your installation is up to date first. Once you've made sure your installation is up to date, Temporarily stop any services that are accessing your database. By default, there are two services making a connection. A scanning service called Landsweeper Server, and a web service, which is either IIS or IIS Express. Now you can create a copy of your database file, which stores all of your data, reports, and settings. Your database file is called LandsweeperDB.SDF, and can be found in Program Files Land Super SQL Data. Place your database copy somewhere outside of the Program Files folder. If you added any documents, images, or widgets to Land Super, back up these files as well. The easiest solution would be to simply create a copy of all subfolders located in Program Files Land Super website. Don't copy your entire website folder as it contains a configuration file that references your database. Restoring this file could lead to issues. With your backup files in a safe location, you can replace your existing compact installation with a SQL Server one by performing a new, advanced install. You must reinstall all components, database, service, and website. You don't have to install them all on the same machine, but it's absolutely critical that you set up a new SQL Server database and connect a new service and website to it. Don't try to manually create the database either. Let the installer do this for you. When the installation has completed, once again stop your LandSweeper and Web Server services. You can then run the Compact to Server executable to move your old data to your new database. The executable can be found under Program Files LandSuper Service. Hit the upper browse button and select the LandSuperDB.SDF file you created a backup of. Hit the lower browse button and submit the name of the SQL Server instance you want to migrate to. You can use the built-in LandSuper user SQL user and default password to make the connection. The version numbers of the two databases should match indicating that they're on the same LandSweeper release. Hit Migrate Database to start the migration process. Depending on the size of your database, this may take a while to complete. Okay, all there's left to do is to restore your website folders and to restart the LandSweeper and web server services. There we go. If you refresh the web interface, you should now see all of your old data. You'll also notice that SQL Server is now listed as your database server under Configuration Your License. 
your new SQL Server installation will provide the necessary space and performance to scan thousands of assets. Thank you for watching and keep an eye out for more tutorials.